Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back here to episode 2 of our PAL World Adventures. Uh, in between episodes I have been working just a little bit, nothing too crazy that you guys won't be left behind. Just farming out a little bit of materials so we can smack a few things out. I've also gone ahead and collected 30 PALs in total so we've checked that little uh, box up there. We've got some pals here working around the base now uh, a little bit more efficiently than what we had before. We've got some watering, some planting, so all the crops are going uh, constantly. And we do have enough to build ourselves a primitive furnace. So let's come over this way. I guess let's just uh, do this one here. We've got all these pals running over to get this smacked out for us very quickly. We also, let me show you guys this really quickly. Um, where do we want to go? This way? Okay, check this out, ready? We made the saddle for our five fox fire, fire parks. Uh, fox parks? There you go. And uh, check this out. It's a flamethrower. <laughs> oh my god, how awesome is that? We just absolutely shred things, but see down the bottom there, we can't use it forever. It has a little bit of a limitation, but this thing just absolutely melts, literally. No pun intended. <laughs> um, what else did we get? Uh, we got this one here as well. Oh, I have to cancel it first. There we go. And then return you, chuck you out. We also made the saddle for the Melpaca, so we can cruise around on this thing as well. Pretty cool. It's got a little nice little uh, uh, like a cannon attack, I suppose. So that's pretty cool to ride around on. But it's so much faster than me running around. So that's super handy. And uh, yeah, I think that's everything that we've ticked off so far in our boxes that I've done in between. You are hungry. Why are you hungry? There should be food in here all the time. Okay, this is now done. Uh, we can smelt this. We got charcoal. Made of burning wood, it can be combined with sulfur to create gunpowder. Oh, heck yeah. And we've got some ores, so let's go ahead and start smelting up them. I think, will we need... Yeah, there we go. I think I have a spare one of those uh, in my... Uh, in the... What's it called? The power box manager? I do. So let's go ahead and swap out one of the land balls for them there, and then that way I won't have to be around casting mine out. This one here will just be able to do the job for us uh, for all of the furnacing requirements. Making up our ingots. I think once we level up, we I just had a look in here. Uh, the next one is like the metal pick and the metal axe. So that's pretty cool. And a higher quality workbench. Pretty sweet. A feathered headband. Let's go ahead and start production on one of those. It protects us from headshot um, abilities, which is pretty cool. I was having to read that before. So that is always handy. So let's go ahead and start getting this thing here underway. And bang. Okay, cool. So now if I come into my inventory... Oh, it automatically went onto my head. There we go. It doesn't display it on my character, but... That is alright. Oh, there it is. It's just like a little earring. There you go. You guys can see that. But yeah, it stops us from getting a uh, headshot damaged like so much, I think. Okay. Pal spheres are acquired. Waiting to refine. There we go. We got our ingots. Let's go ahead and just store them up in one of these chests for now. And I think this episode too, we are going to go and start working on a little bit of a better base design as well. Store our coins. There we go. Got a ton of them underway right now. Um, come back with me and let's go to number one. Chuck you out and come over here and let me let me give you a ride. Okay, so I was doing a little bit of uh, wandering around and I want to go ahead and just explore a little bit further today. So I thought maybe we'll go check out this way. I've been down that way a little bit but not too crazy far because I didn't want to go too far without you guys so I thought for right now let's go ahead and come up here and check if there's any like little hidden things because I know this game likes to reward you which is absolutely amazing for your exploration and what have we got up here? A large verdant egg. Build an egg incubator to incubate PAL eggs. Alright, do you reckon we can make this jump? Oh, easy. 
Let's grab you and what do we have here? Dragon skill fruit and a seed machine gun. Use on a pal to teach them seed machine gun. That sounds pretty cool. Nice. I'm going to keep those down here because I don't want to accidentally use them on a pal that uh, I don't really want to use them for. Can we chop this down? We cannot. I am hungry though and I didn't cook any food. Oh, a lymph nuck. That's a, that's a new one. Come back here. Yeah. There we go. Should be fine, right? Nice. Got me. Intelligent as five, seven year olds. I say five to seven year old human child. Makes wonderful partner, but there's been more something or other. I didn't get to read it. Oh, what are these guys? I don't know what they do, but let's go ahead and get ourselves a tansy. It found slightly more effective at guns. Interesting. There we go. Just leveled up. We should be able to enhance our stats. Okay. I'm thinking, work speed's looking good, stamina maybe, uh, I'm, I'm not getting my pals to do my work speed stuff, so I don't know how effective that is, but we do have that mind wipe I did see, so we can't always come back and change this stuff for now, let's just bump another one into health, and then we should be able to do metal, metal, and the higher grade, submachine gun, that sounds pretty good, nope, still the same, oh we got a new pal just here, what are these ones, Tefent. I feel so mean for this one. <laughs> oh my god, why does this one look so hard? It's so, it's so mean to do this one. You know what we should do? I got an idea. Let's bring you out. Come here. Burn! Oh no, I wanted to actually capture you. Whoops. Anyways. <laughs> oh, this thing's awesome. Earth Skill Fruit Sand Blast. Nice, this is a cool little adventure. Ooh, what do we got down there? Let's grab some of these. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. But you're mine. Okay, anything good down this way? Oh, there's chests down there. Open, coins, and bread. Arrows, we got a megasphere. What the heck is this? An item to the cache of pals and thrones. It's capable has been improved, allowing you to catch a wider range of pals. Maybe that's why I had such a low percentage chance of catching some of those bigger pals, because I needed to get the uh, different balls. And how do we throw them? Oh, there we go. You press 2 and you cycle through. So we can just grab some of them while we're here. Maybe we'll loop back around and see if there's any of those bigger bigger pals roaming around that we might be able to knock out and uh, take with us. Fast travel back to base. What is that? Chillette level 11. I wonder if that is like a rare spawn of sorts. Do we fast travel there, run up back and try and find what it is? Oh, there it is. Chillette, Dancer of Plains. It's like an ice dragon type. Can we capture it? I don't know. Let's go in for it, eh? It's got 1,000 damage. This could be very stupid. Boss killed. Ah, easy as. Okay, ancient civilization parts, precious pelt and leather. And we also got one of these uh, ancient technologies that we can use. The egg incubator, which we can unlock. Small feed bag, a grappling gun. Think of the egg incubator, because we got those couple of eggs and... Yeah, we should be able to craft this pretty easily. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought, but we're definitely not going to be able to take on that big thing just yet because that was like 30,000 health, whereas that thing only had the 1,000 health, so it wasn't too bad to uh, knock out, but still. Depresso? That's his name, is Depresso. <laughs> Why? Oh, he killed it. I didn't want to do that. I wonder what Depresso drops us. Venom glands. 
Okay, we got two of them. Let's go ahead and chuck into the hot spring. Maybe we'll bring this one over here. Completed. Hot spring is built. Nice. Now. I presume they just go chill out there and make them happier while they work. Base upgrade. High quality workbench. Medieval medicine workbench. Deploy a pal to work. Which means we're going to make another bed. Easy. No stress at all with the pals. There we go. Someone's going to be over that. Um, enhanced player. We need some more materials for that. I don't want to enhance the pals just yet. Um, just because I'm not really sure what one we're going to be doing. Okay, while we got those ingots smelting down, let's go have a look at uh, the new pal box. There we go. If I put that one there, does it stay out all the time? I read something about that that it does. Um, but anyways, we got some new pals. We got Tansy, T-Fant. Yeah, we definitely do not need and the lift monk. Let's put one of you out. Let's put you out and T-Fant. I don't really know what that one does. We don't really need the T-Fant out because we have the little uh, uh, penguin just here as well. What do you do? Who knows? Oh, we got two wood choppers. That's good. That is very handy. We've got one guy over here mining the stone. I don't really know what the bird does, but he's here. He's here nonetheless. So I've noticed that sometimes the bowels disappear and don't continue their work if he, like, kind of leaves. So, like, I had this one here. He was chopping away, and then I come back, and there was only four made. And then my pal is out, so the Firefox was out burning my thing. And then because I left the region, like the area, it uh, sprung to me because it was actually the one in mine, not the one on the workbench. So, yeah, that happened. Oh, let me just repair this really quick too. And I am hungry, so let's eat one of those. Advanced workbench. You can just sit just here for now. Noise. Oh, we could have probably just scrapped the other one. Okay, metal pick. Let's go ahead and start that. Oh, there we go. Metal pick and the metal. And then if we can, we'll make this spear as well. But I don't know how much we'll be able to do with that one. So let's swap out the metal pick and the metal axe. Damn, that's like doubled our damage. Absolutely shredding the wood count too. Nice. Okay, let's go metal pick on this thing. Shredding it up. I don't know if it's going to get more, but I think it just does it more efficiently. Which is totally fine with me. There we go. Yeah, so that would take me a fair few hits before to get those five. Like, I was probably getting one every three. This one here, I'm guaranteed it three in... I'm getting five in about three hits. So it is definitely way more beneficial. I'm going to put that back away because I am so not ready to do that. So the ores... Not quite one every hit, but it's it's close. Okay, let me do here. I'm going to do a little bit of one in workman speed. Um, and then we go to technology. See what we got here this way. Okay. Pelt armor. Armor made from leather provides better warmth and protection than cloth outfit. Requires high workbench to craft. Me cleaver. Uh, medical workbench. And houseplant set. There's some really cool decorations I'm so keen to get into. A necklace. If Daydream's on your team, it stays at your side and attacks enemies in tandem. This is what I was thinking of. So I'm going to unlock that as well because we have none of those. So that means we can technically have two of them out. Okay, so we need a little bit more neck uh, leather to make the necklace. And the assault rifle. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, one level into the crafting skill seemed to help a ton as well, so maybe it's, yeah, this is beneficial for you to do this kind of stuff when the pals is just kind of uh, roaming out doing their own thing. But, on that note, we should be able to craft up our little medical bench. Oh my god, they all just come over rushing and it's done in three seconds. <laughs> nice, so we can make a large grade medical supplies. So you do need his horns, a fair bit. And red berries. I'm going to save it for now because I already got one of them and I don't want to use them in case I need to use the horns for something else. B 
build cooler box, build sphere workbench. Oh, that must be where we can craft these mega spheres and all the rest of it. Oh, what is this up here? There's a tombat? Hells yeah, I want to try and take out one of these things. Okay, let me rotate because I'm presuming. Oh, it's aggressive too. I don't know if I needed to use one of those, but I did it anyways. Hey, there we go. Yeah, let's get another handheld one. Yeah, okay. It was probably worth me uh, using the other bowl for that one. Okay, that was very lucky, I think. Okay, so I was thinking about moving our base down here um, and like putting it somewhere in this middle area. Like it's big, it's flat. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there's some like there's metal just there and up there like the ingots sorry and I think it'll be kind of like more easier like there's a few more things that spawn around this way and yeah I don't know I just think it'd be nice and easier and to build our little base location for now anyways and then eventually yeah move again but I think it shouldn't be too difficult to move our stuff I don't know if I can build can I build here I can interesting so maybe what I might do is build a little place for us now and then uh, sort out and then then bring everything down thoughts on that so maybe we build like a little oh I want to do the continuous build how do I do that I think that should be a pretty good start. Let's go up and grab everything. Let's see how we go. I'm actually going to dump everything in my inventory. And then just so then we don't have the weight on us. Alrighty, guys. I think we have everything uh, moved down here apart from wood. There is about like nearly 3,000 weight worth of wood up that direction, which I haven't got yet, but I will eventually bring it down here. Uh, but what do you guys think of the base? I think it's come along pretty nicely. I've definitely gone ahead and overdid it in some areas because I was like, you know, I want it to look nice. We definitely don't need it, but, you know, what's the point of playing a survival game if you don't have a nice looking base? So we've uh, gone ahead and made the beds there. As you can see on the top right, we've got 15 beds. Um, so we should be set for a little bit. I'm going to make this area over here like our farming area. Um, coming over here, we've got our ranch and any other building things. I might double up on these eventually if we ever get to that stage of like maxing those out, which I highly doubt we will being at 9,999. Uh, we've got the uh, power box here in the center of the base uh, and as well as the uh, statue just here as well. I don't know where, I don't know if it's, if it's in here that I can show you. Um, I mean, just come over this way. Bloop. There we go. So I crafted up the necklace. So that was the one that allows um, yeah. Daydream to spawn out with me as well. So that means I can still, if I do here, I can still have two of the pals out as well. So if I put in, in my inventory, if I come over to here and go to the this one, if I put all of these guys in my hotbar, we can technically have all of them out at once attacking with us. How cool is that? Not too bad, I'm not going to keep them in there because they're pretty low level, but uh, yeah, it's always an idea. I think there's a pretty cool little strategy we can do. Uh, we also hatched. Where is it? Tutikoku. I don't really know if that's how you meant to say it or not, but that's where I'm going to go with it. Um, and then we also do have Dinosome. Dinosome as well. Let's pop him out as well. There we go. Oh my god, look at it. What do you do? It's a forager. Pretty cool looking. We've got uh, dinosaur planting over there. I think that's how you pronounce it, maybe. We'll go with that anyways. But we do have a, another egg in here all incubated up. So let's go ahead and do that and hatch it. Floppy. Abundance of vegetation. But hay fever has apparently become a problem. Fluffy as of late. Oh no, poor Fluffy. There's Fluffy over there. Um, we don't need both of them out. Oh, there we go. 
That's a transporter. It forages everything for us. Nicely done there. Um, harvesting. What are you harvesting? Uh, so yeah guys, we might go ahead and uh, wrap up the video just there. If you have enjoyed this one, don't forget that like button and subscribe. Let me down in the comments what you guys think of the base. Should we start working on some defenses as well? Because we have been raided once before and I'm a little bit worried that they could come in here quite easily. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And if you're enjoying this one at all, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be uh, pumping out the episodes because I am super addicted to this game. So I'm going to try and do this a couple times a week as well. So we'll see how we go with that one. And uh, yeah, I guess. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Later.